Silver is an element. Elements are the fundamental materials of which all matter is composed. All matter on the planet can be broken down to the basic elements. A chemical element is a pure chemical substance consisting of one type of atom, distinguished by its atomic number, the number of protons in its nucleus. The periodic table lists the elements in order of the number of protons in its nucleus. Hydrogen has one proton, so it is the first element. Helium has two protons, so it is the second element. Gold has 79 protons in its nucleus, so it is the 79th element on the periodic table. Silver atoms have 47 protons in their nucleuses, so silver is the 47th element on the periodic table. An element cannot be broken down into smaller substances using chemical means. In other words, it cannot be broken down into a smaller substance without destroying the atom of an element in a nuclear reactor. Even if an element is boiled off, burned up, or blown up in a bomb, the quantity of the element does not change. It only breaks up into smaller pieces, bonds with other elements to form compounds, or changes into another physical state. In other words, the quantity of an element, for instance the amount of silver or gold that the earth contains, never changes. It doesn't increase, it doesn't decrease. Unless it was altered in a nuclear reactor or blasted off into space, the amount of silver and gold that the earth contains always remains the same. The silver atom contains 47 protons in its nucleus. The electrons are contained in five energy levels, with the outer level containing only one electron. The single electron means that silver easily forms into compounds. For instance, the silver atom bonds with fluorine atoms to form the compound silver fluoride. A compound is two or more atoms joined together with a chemical bond. For instance, water is two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom bonded together. When elements form chemical bonds, it doesn't reduce the quantity of each element in any way. Furthermore, all chemical bonds can be broken back down into the original elements. Often silver is compared to oil to mislead people into thinking silver is running out. However, oil is several compounds while silver is an element. When oil is used, the compounds break down and become new substances. What remains is no longer oil, and each time oil is used, the amount of oil on the earth decreases. When silver is used, the amount of silver does not decrease. The quantity of each element that the earth contains never changes. This means that the amount of each element does not increase or decrease, and it also means that the ratio of how much of one element there is compared to how much of another element there is never changes. The ratio of physical silver to physical gold never changes. No element can ever run out or go extinct. It is a scientific impossibility. This fact seems to be lost by many in the silver community that make claims of silver running out, becoming more rare, going extinct, becoming more rare than gold, or any other claim that attempts to defy the laws of physics. The earth contains the same amount of silver now as when the earth was created and that amount does not increase or decrease in any way. Often people will react to this information by stating that industrial demand or solar or some other sort of use for silver is going to use up all the available supply. However, the silver industry's own reports show that industrial use is flat and declined three out of the last four years. Total use for silver is declining and total use as a percent of supply is dropping fast. Then people will react by stating that silver mining will run out. But the silver industry's own reports show that silver mining is at all-time record levels. Then it is claimed that silver will run out of the ground. However, silver reserves just increased again. In fact, many of the major silver producers increase their reserves every year. Often people will then state that silver above ground will run out. I have often heard it stated that there are only 1 billion ounces of silver left on the earth. Now let's think about that for a minute. The amount of silver the earth contains never changes 
and no silver is ever destroyed unless it was altered in a nuclear reactor. This means that all the silver that has ever been mined out of the ground for thousands of years is still here unless it was buried back into the ground. Each year, the amount of silver on top of the earth increases. Yet the term one billion ounces left is used to mislead people into thinking the rest of the silver somehow disappeared. This is done to feed into the lie of silver going extinct. What about silver ending up in landfills never to be found again? The total use for silver is declining, while at the same time, the supply of silver is increasing. The percent of silver that goes to use each year is dropping fast. Again, silver mining is not about to run out or get really expensive or any of the other false claims that are continuously circled. In addition, supply from mining is increasing, total supply is increasing, industrial use declined three of the last four years, total demand for use is down, and reserves have increased. If you hear someone state that silver is destroyed, going extinct, becoming more rare, running out, or that the ratio of the quantity of gold to silver is changing, then they are doing one of two things. One, showing you that they do not understand the very basics of silver mining, and that they do not have a basic understanding of chemistry, geology, or physics. Or two, attempting to mislead you.